reporting to you live from the pits of hell. Here we are, girl. <clears throat> I'm doing one of those rare at the house videos because, girl, it's just far too hot. I sat in my car for maybe one minute and my phone said, girl, I'm overheating. So, <laughs> and I hadn't even turned on the camera yet. So here we are in, uh, in Doomsville, in Gloomsville. And I'm here to talk about Kanye. Now let's start off with the fact that if you hadn't seen me speak on Kanye while everybody else is speaking on Kanye, it's because I just simply don't care. I don't feel like it. I'm not trying to give Kanye this type of energy and time, but y'all have asked. So, here we are, Kanye. Where even should I start? Let's go ahead and start with the fact that Kanye West admitted to recently having liposuction um, before his wedding. For the fans, for us. Uh, girl, I didn't need you to do that, first of all. Second of all, if my mother had died from cosmetic surgery, uh, first of all, I wouldn't marry someone who is literally just cosmetic surgery. She's not even a human at this point. Second of all, um, I would not be having it myself. Like, <laughs> not, not liposuction. After my mama died from a tummy tuck, like, but whatever. So we'll start, we'll start with that. That's just foolish. Then we'll move on to the fact that he went on this poopity scoop <laughs> tirade. He was all on Twitter talking about these, you know, he's writing a book as we speak and do 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 do. And then he's releasing music and poopity scoopity do. Uh, literally, is like lyrics <laughs> to a song he quote unquote released. I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody was playing, but apparently it was for real. Um, I don't have time. <laughs> I just don't have the time. Um, what else has he done? The Trump thing, which is the big to-do that everybody's all pissed about. I don't know why you would expect anything better from Kanye. I don't know why you would. Um, but whatever. He went on, and, you know, Trump is his friend, and dragging spirits and carrying on, girl. No one has the time. No one has the energy. Uh, I just... Re I'm so tired. I don't feel like all this. Um, so everybody was up in, a, in, in arms, up, you know upside down, boy, you turned me, over him saying Trump is his brother and he loves him and da 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 da, -da. Okay, girl. And then Chance the Rapper, who I've been looking at sideways for a while. I loved um, Acid Rap, the, the, the EP, lived for that, and then after that I started looking at Chance a little sideways, and I didn't know why. I wasn't sure why, but I was just like, something ain't quite coming together for the glory and honor. Um, and then he went out and said what he said about Kanye. You know, and how black people don't have to be Democrats, which is true. Black people don't have to be Republicans either. Black people don't have to be Tea Party. Black people don't have to be Green Party. Black people don't have to be nothing but stay black and die, as my mama always said, or my grandmama. So, in the words of my grandmama, Chance, you say that to say what? All they're carrying on in defense of, uh, of Kanye, who's in defense of Trump. So now the black community is looking at Chance all like, girl, come on now. Um, and then Chance had the nerve to release this iOS... Um, release this statement, this press statement, um, straight from notes in his iPhone that was 30 pages long. I didn't read all that and I'm not going to and the nerve of him to think I would. <laughs> the plum, unmitigated gall and audacity of Chance the Rapper to think I'm going to sit there and scroll through his notes in his phone. I'm not. So I don't know what he said. <laughs> I truly don't. Um, because when I saw all of that I was just like, no ma'am. No thank you. Um, I'm sure it's an apology. I'm still looking at you sideways, the end. Like, I'm not going to go through all of this carrying on and reading all of that, because how dare you? How dare you? How selfish of you to type out 90,000 words instead of just saying, girl, my bad. Like, anyway. Um, so then he went to TMZ, he being Kanye. Well, not then. I think this happened before. I don't care. Um, he went to TMZ, and I didn't watch The Fool to do, because like I said, I'm not giving Kanye moments of my time. The only, onlyest reason that I'm here is because you all have asked, um, and multiple people have asked on multiple platforms for this video. But, uh, he went to TMZ. I saw a clip of Kanye saying, do you believe that I am thinking free and being free? And a gentleman by the name of Van something, I didn't catch the full name because again, I've done no research. <laughs> I'm literally just going by the things that I've seen. Um, in my quest to stay away from this this whole story, but it keeps popping up on Twitter. It keeps popping up everywhere. So I've seen little glimpses um, 
Van somebody got Kanye right together said I don't think you're thinking free I don't think you're thinking anything at all <laughs> what you're saying is stupid and hurtful and this and that and I'm disappointed I'm deeply sad and yada 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 um and then apparently there was another uh, video that I haven't seen but I've heard people talking about um where Kanye apologizes that he hurt the boy or something like that girl who who cares who here will be healed by a, a, an apology from Kanye raise your hand if you will be healed, if Kanye just comes on Twitter or gets on TMZ or gets on CNN and says, you know what, uh, I'm sorry, so sorry, how, how many of y'all will be healed? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, we all know Kanye's crazy. So anyway, he did all of that, and apparently in the actual TMZ interview, um, he went on to say that slavery uh, was a choice. And... For many days, I heard the goings-on of Kanye said slavery is a choice and saw the memes and, you know, cackled at a few of them and all of that for many days. And my mind was like, and again, I did not go and watch the interview because, girl, don't care. Uh, my mind was like, I'm certain that Kanye has gone. I'm certain he's gone, but I'm also certain that he did not mean that the initial slaves <laughs> chose to be uh, slaves. I'm sure that he meant that after, you know, hundreds of years, why were we still slaves? Which is still stupid. <laughs> it's still stupid. Um... But then it came out that that's what he was trying to say, and he said that I wasn't, I didn't mean that, you know, the initial slaves um, could have opted out. I meant, after, you know, why 400 and, and uh, well, he said 400 years, but Kanye is 465. Um, why after that amount of time, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then he went on to say um, that because we were enslaved people for uh, 400 years, then you know, he's talking about the mental enslavement. And it's like, girl, yes. Y yeah, the girls were mentally enslaved because they were physically enslaved. So you're just being, <laughs> you're being stupid. Everything about Kanye West is stupid. Everything about Kanye West has been stupid. The only album I've ever heard in full was College Dropout. Um, and I've always known something's wrong with him. After Beyonce opened her mouth at the 2009 VMAs and said, no, Kanye. I said, Kanye's canceled from here. From jump. Whenever Beyonce says no, it's a no. And it's not even being a stand, it's just Beyonce doesn't affiliate herself with people who are uh, poopity scoop. <laughs> and so if Beyonce uh, excommunicates you, everybody but Latavia Robeson. Latavia, I will sit with until the day she dies. Um, and Beyonce don't really do it, you know, do it, you see it for her like that, but I'll sit with Latavia because I love her. Everybody else that Beyonce has, you know, been like, mm. I'm like, you know what, valid, valid reasoning. The mental enslavement. Girl, yes, the mental enslavement because the niggas was physically enslaved. You can't be physically enslaved and not be mentally enslaved for the majority. There were some that were physically enslaved but were mentally revolutionized. There were a few, but girl. Anyway, child. What else? Um, that's basically it. What I'm going to need you niggas to stop doing is saying, well, Kanye West has bipolar disorder. Kanye West is schizophrenic. Kanye West is... Uh, he's losing his mind and this and that because number one, Kanye West said he does not go to therapy. So where'd the diagnosis come from? A lot of you niggas are sitting around diagnosing people with no degree. I'm not going to diagnose Kanye. Kanye does not go to therapy. He says everybody he meets is his therapist. The world is his therapy, which is problematic. Um, but Girl, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh well, he's he, he's he's obviously got me. Now, obviously he does, but I'm not gonna say what it is. And going around telling folks, oh well, Kanye has bipolar uh, disorder, so that's the reason why. You know who else has bipolar disorder and has had untreated bipolar disorder for a decade plus? Mariah Carey. You know what Mariah Carey does? She's self-absorbed, obviously, but she doesn't go around doing the the poopity scoop. She doesn't go around doing the poopity scoop. She gets on stage. She pretends to sing. Uh, she gets carried around. Uh, she lays in a bale of hay and pretends to sing while Miguel, you know, shakes and jives and shimmies on over to the side. She lays and she'll give you a pinky wave. And that's the extent of it. That <laughs> is um, untreated, unmedicated bipolar disorder. Kanye is just a fool. He's just a fool. He knows he's in love. I don't know who he's in love with or what, but he's in love. He's, no one has time. Uh, who I feel bad for the most is his children, his half-black half uh enslaved <laughs> ancestry children because girl you're raising your kids you already they have a strike against them by being kardashians that's a strike in and of itself if you had had a baby with courtney then i could say okay well maybe they'll turn out all right because courtney seems to be okay uh but the rest of them anyway girl just the mere fact that kanye's father was a black panther 
um, and his mother was an African-American history professor internationally. And this nigga said, I'm hanging up. I don't, I'm not interested in, in this conversation. This is the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, don't call me about Kanye no more. Peace.